Hey everybody, it's Sean, and in this video, we're going to be working on my brother's Saturn Sky. We're going to be putting a water pump, new timing chain, balance chain, and guides, in a 2.0 turbocharged Ecotec GM motor. So the next step is to drain the coolant and I'll try to zoom in there with that but we've turned that little white valve which is allowing fluid to drain out the bottom of the radiator. In order to get this radiator out of course we've got the hoses off and then there's a, a bolt down here. I've already taken a, the bolt off this side over here. Then we should be able to separate the radiator from the air conditioner condenser and get that radiator out of the way. radiator out this this shroud there was kind of a pain in the butt there were some bolts that came up from the bottom that we had to get removed Phew. all right so the next step is going to be to uh get this up out of the way and then we'll take the belts off power steering belt first and then the main serpentine belt and then we will take this tensioner off. And there's a tensioner down here that needs to be removed. And then, I guess we'll be able to uh, pull the cover off. Well, got to pull that pulley off too. All right. Pulley just came right off. Never mind. Well, I can it out. Good hell, one thing we didn't have to use a pulley for. Right. So the next step here is to remove this cover, which is going to take all these. What are you seeing? Ooh, pretty. What's broke? Nothing. Come on. I don't see anything broke, but that's not the issue. The issue is your water pump and- Well, I know, but- it's gonna, Well, you'd be glad nothing's broke. So now, while we've got it like this, you really gotta find top dead center. Probably- Can you put that bolt back in? Probably be as easy to do that now. Okay, well, we've got it all set up on top dead center now. As you can see, we've got the green colored link right here on the intake cam, the red one right there on the exhaust cam down here at the bottom. The Woodruff key is at 12 o'clock and the other key is at five. And the next step here is to remove the chains and then I'll set that up while Eric's over there taking apart the uh, the water pump housing thermostat Ther uh, yeah the thermostat housing so that we can disassemble that pull the water pump out from behind and go from there I think the kit comes with a new bolt all right so as you can see uh, this 2.0 is now sans thermostat housing. I'm just going to leave the, the uh, tube laying right there. We'll pull it out in a minute and I'm guessing uh, Eric's, got, Eric's kit comes with new O-rings for it. But now, the fun part is, 
getting that water pump out. So, and he's still working on getting all the timing chain. Well, we got the timing chain out. Now he's doing the balance chain. Right? Right. Hard to see, but working on that. Now getting that water pump off. All right, everybody. So it is a pain in the butt, but you have to separate the uh, rear of the housing of the water pump. And then uh, you take the water pump out through this area right here. And of course, that's the way it's got to go back in. So now it's just a matter of reassembling. First thing we're going to do is get the water pump put back in, uh, put together. In order to do that, of course, you've got to slide the water pump itself in, and then you have to slide the rear housing in, and then you got to bolt it together, then you got to bolt it to the block, then you have to uh, reassemble the pipe that goes from it to the thermostat housing in the back. Once we get that done, then we'll start reassembling the front, the timing chain, the balance chain. And I'll tell you what, um, it can be done. Some of the videos that I've seen and some of the information that I've seen on the forum talks about removing the turbo and the cat. As you can see, they're, they're still there, but uh, not fun. Anyways, all right, well. So he slid the water pump back down into that pocket and now he's going to reassemble the rear housing on it. I'm going to attempt it. Yeah. All right, so we've got the mark on the balance chain there at about 12, about six. It's lined up down here. I don't know if you can see that. And now we need to get the tensioner over here to uh, install. So let's do that. And do we pull the pin now? Yep. You sure? Yeah, that's how you do it. Clink. That's it. So now we're going to install the crank sprocket. Our brand new crank sprocket. There we go. Ta da! Now we're going to start installing the cam chain. This shows again at about 2 o'clock. And it's going to, we need to feed, feed our chain down. Oh, it's going to go around the side too. No, it's going to go around now. Keep going. So unfortunately, the angle of the camera basically was showing my butt. And I don't imagine you want to sit and watch that. But, uh, so I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, the process. You had to fish the chain down, um, down the engine block. Uh, you had to properly ensure that the chain links were aligned with the intake and the exhaust sprocket notches and then of course you had to make sure that the 
the different colored link down on the uh, the crankshaft sprocket were all aligned correctly. All right, we've reinstalled the tensioner here and it needs to be torqued to 55 foot-pounds. the pulley to move the slack in the chain over to the uh, the right side of the engine now we're supposed to take um, a, a pry bar push down in here uh, and and pushing down in there is somehow going to activate the tensioner although it's all pretty tight okay, so According to the book, we have to torque these uh, bolts here to 18 foot-pounds plus 100 degrees. I said 22. 22 foot-pounds. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's an 18 second. 22 foot-pounds. Okay, so now 100 degrees. Now 100 degrees, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top. And 100 degrees. Are you fucking kidding me? That's got to be enough, bro. Well, <laughs> we went to 90. That can't be right. Holy shit. It is what it is. It's there now. I ain't moving. <laughs> Same thing with that one. Yeah. You, you know what? You want to put a bigger... Yeah, you need a bigger idol. Well, I don't know. You've got to hold it. Well, I can hold it. Now, let's try this side. The book does say... Did you do this one torque yet? No. Oh. No, I'm... That's why... 22 foot-pounds. Twenty-two, a hundred degrees. Done. Well, that's ninety. Hold on, let me give it a little bit more. Okay. Jesus. That's Christ. probably. You know what? We pre we really should go a little more, go a little more on that because we didn't make it. We're gonna, we're gonna eyeball it. There you go. There we go. Because those bolts are torqued. They're, they're, there's a name for it. Name. What's that? I can't think of the name of it. One use. An intake camshaft position actuator bolt to 22 foot pounds plus 100 degrees. Get a big wrench. Yeah. Well, we were damn close, and those bolts are tight. <laughs> so I've put the timing chain gasket back on and basically uh, it's a little indented here and here and then there's a pin here and a pin over on this side uh, to be able to line it all up now we'll put the timing chain cover back on
So on this bottom one, you gotta line up the the flat sides and then get the woodruff key. The flat sides go into the water or the fuel. The flat sides go into the oil pump. This is what drives the oil pump on the back side of that timing chain. Now we just need to put our bolt in. So unfortunately, it was right about then that we discovered that the kit air recorder did not come with a brand new harmonic balancer bolt. So we had to put a pause in our day. Eric got online, ordered that $18 bolt. It came in about a week later. He showed up to the house and we just dug right into it. We torqued that bolt to 74 foot pounds and then we had to add another 125 degrees to give it some preload. Who comes up with that anyway? So once we got that done, we put the belts back on. Then of course we could put the radiator and the fan back in, put the charge pipes back on, put the valve cover back on, and put basically hooked everything back up. And then this happened. Look at that. It's alive. I'm just going to throw the hood and the cow back on. I guess we got the timing right. <laughs> it's alive. So Eric has three skies. And for uh, whatever reason... Why have you kept this one all stock? Because it's a carbon flash. Because it's a carbon flash. She's kind of special. All right. So I realized that this wasn't exactly a step-by-step -step process. What we didn't really show much of was uh, replacing that water pump in its entirety. There's a lot of videos on that that are already out there. But hopefully this video might help those of you that might be interested in trying to tackle the whole timing chain, balancer chain uh, system. Overall, I think it took uh, Eric and I probably about eight, nine hours total to do it. We certainly are professional mechanics. Uh, Eric and I have been wrenching on cars uh, recreationally for over 40 years. So anybody with a little bit of uh, mechanical abilities plus the right amount of tools certainly is a job that, uh, that can be done. Anyways, uh, if you found the video helpful, you know, put a comment down below. If not, well, thanks for watching.